Hi everybody, today's presentation is just a soap cutting and the reason it's just a soap cutting is because I've been playing with the leftover soap from a huge wholesale order. So I had about a pound of soap and um, a handmade mold that I made that's supposed to be tall and skinny but I think it's just tall and fat. <laughs> So I'm going to have to, you know, make my mold again, but it's a beautiful soap. I thought it was a complete fail, but come and have a look and tell me what you think. Um, there's two different soap. One we're going to be cutting and the other one we're going to be talking about. Um, two different techniques. Um, I hope you like it. And the name of this soap is called Woodland Creatures. And I used a couple of different types of soap. So I've uh, combined a few... Um, techniques. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like the cut and it's going to be a longer cut because it's a shorter bar and I, you know, can take my time and show you what I did and explain why I did everything I did. So come on into my subby kitchen while we explore woodland creatures. glad you're here with me. Um, today I'm going to tell you a little bit about this soap. It's a definite new idea. I was hoping to have a be better luck with swirling and if this turned out really well, like I think it did, um, or at least I hope it did, it looks amazing on the outside. Um, and we'll be sh I'll be showing you how I did it. So in, you know, in a different design of course because Unless you guys want some of my woodland creatures. Anyway, this soap has three different elements of soap in it. It was made, I made it in three different stages. It was made with a hot process. So here's the soap. All right, a countertop fluid hot process. And I haven't trimmed it up or anything. This is how it came out of the mold. And the top were piped cold process that have cured. And all of these little woodland creatures and these little um, little bits of things were made with my rice soap dough. So it's a non-soap soap, I guess you could call it. Um, it lathers and it doesn't interfere with this soap. Um, it's just awesome. Um, yeah, so what I did um, was I kept it hot. I, cut, I pulled it out of the of the batch while I was doing my other soap and I kept it hot. Now I used two different things. So this is a water buffalo milk soap with um, oatmeal or coffee. I think it's coffee. And this one, so this is a, like a coffee and tea soap. And this is green tea um, that was left over from making my green tea butter. And that video, if it's not already out there, actually I did trim the edges. If that video is not already out there, it will be coming out soon. Making green tea butter is a little more tricky than making coffee butter. Um, and I'll explain that when I do. But this, these are the leftover tea leaves from that, um, from that hot process um, um, steeping. So let's see what we get. Now I'm just going to leave my sides. I'm not going to trim my sides because my embeds are close. You see, and it's only like going to give me like five bars. So these are going to be five monster bars, but uh, we will see what we get when we go inside. And I just want to make sure you can see this and make sure it's the right size for cutting. Yeah, that looks about right. So let's I hope I don't cut any of my embeds in half. So it is quite a tall bar. Oh, that's pretty. All right, so it's gonna dry like this. This is what it looks like in the middle. So do you see those swirls? And there's a little mushroom and a bird, I think. So there's our first bar. So we're getting some pull through there. I'm not sure what that's from. That is probably from the green tea. 
that's in there because it's it's got quite a bit of it. So water buffalo milk and green tea woodland creatures soap. I didn't think this was going to turn out at all and I kind of love it guys. I kind of I really do. I think it's super pretty. I hope you do too. If you'd like to get a bar of this it will be in my Etsy shop or it should be in my Etsy shop right now. So that one's got a little squirrel and a piece of an acorn. And like I said, these are made out of rice flour. Um, if you have any questions about this soap, you know, please leave them in the description box. I'd love to, to hear what your questions are. And uh, like I said, I was just fooling around um, with some leftover soap, which was always fun. But I had this idea in my head, how do I, how do I make a better swirl? And I think we got some pretty righteous swirls here. Now that I can do two, we'll see what happens when I do more. So this one's got an owl on that one and a beetle. I like the detail that the rice soap gives my embeds. Um, I can't make perfect <laughs> handmade embeds like like um, bee. Bees are awesome. Oh, bee, you're amazing. Um, from Sorcery Soaps, hers are crazy incredible. Okay, I think I'm gonna come from the other direction because this I'm gonna end up cutting my little box. Oh, that's perfect. I think we'll see. Wow, I didn't kill. I didn't. I didn't chop any of my major embeds. That's fantastic. So here's a little hiding fox, a little foxhole, and then oak leaf on that one. And check out the swirls. So I will do this one to music and I'll also have the talking version because, you know, I want to say hi to you guys. Here's a little hedgehog. He's a weird looking hedgehog. I don't, I don't know. Oh, he's turned. That's why I was trying to figure out why he looks so weird. Paid a little more for these molds, but I think it was worthwhile. That little mushroom. It's back. So you couldn't really see the swirl and then we turn it around. You can see that glorious squirrel with all these skin living. Now I did use a fragrance, a little bit of a fragrance. I used a, um, what's it called? It's my hair. I used cool water. So I was thinking bubbling springs, green tea, uh, water buffalo. So <laughs> that's why I did that and I'm going to take some pictures of these up close for the ending here so you can see how they turned out and it's just I'm going to be doing more of these smaller batches um, especially if I get wholesale orders where I can play a little bit um, there you go different techniques are super super fun um, I've got a column pour and a, quite a few other things on the on the on the horizon. Let's see how pretty those swirled. Well, there you go. You can swirl hot process. I would suggest I did use a little more. I added a little more. I added aloe vera in here, so there's aloe vera in this as well. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty amazing. And it's super fatted, of course, with shea butter because I just absolutely love, love, love shea butter. All right. And of course, honey from my garden. And if you got the, watch the episode on the bees, you'll see where I get my honey. Some of the bees I get my honey from. They're super cute girls and they work so hard. All right. So we'll see you next time. These are still soft. They'll be, yeah, they should be in the store though right now. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this presentation, please click like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that not notification bell so that you see when the new stuff comes in. Um, we'll see you next time. Bye.